And we do not seek a conflict with Iran. Uh, these targets were chosen, as we said, to, uh, to degrade uh, and disrupt the capabilities of the IRGC and the groups that they sponsor and support. As the general said, we believe that the, these targets uh, fell into e exactly that criteria. Um, uh, and you know, the goal here is to get these uh, attacks to stop. We are not looking for a war with Iran. This, this wasn't just a message sending routine tonight. This was about degrading capability, taking away uh, in a more robust way uh, than, uh, than we have in the past, taking away capabilities by uh, the IRGC and, uh, and, the, and, the, and the militant groups. And, and I wanna repeat again what I said in my opening comments. It, these responses began tonight. They're not gonna end tonight. Um, so there will be additional responses. Uh, uh, there will be a, a, a additional action that we will take, all designed uh, to put an end to these attacks and to take away capability by uh, by, by the IRGC. And the weather did turn today to allow us to conduct these strikes, um, and as a result, we're very confident in the targets that we that we struck today. We're pretty confident that the locations we got, as Mr. Kirby mentioned, uh, were pretty significant in degrading uh, capability, and we will know better in terms of uh, what that BDA looks like tomorrow. I would tell you that we know that there are uh, there are militants that use these locations, IRGC, as well as uh, Iranian aligned militia group personnel who use these locations. We made these strikes tonight with an idea that uh, there, there would likely be casualties associated with people inside those facilities. And again, that was an audio-only briefing that was provided by John Kirby. And you also heard there from Lieutenant General Douglas Sims with the Joint Chiefs of Staff. They were answering some media-related questions about those strikes. Now, the latest on the strikes, they did hit in Iraq and Syria. And the series of, quote-unquote, retaliatory strikes came after last weekend's drone attack in Jordan near the Syria border that killed three U.S. troops there and injured 40 others. Now, the U.S. has said the drone attack was the work of the Islamic resistance in Iraq and video released by the U.S. Central Command shows a B-1 bomber that took part in the strikes. The U.S. saying it hit more than 85 targets in Iraq and Syria and this morning an Iraqi militia official appearing to downplay those strikes and hinting at an attempt to de-escalate tensions in the Middle East. Now as far as numbers go, officials in Syria have said that at least 23 people were killed in those strikes and a British-based group there says those were all rank and file fighters. An Iraqi government spokesperson saying 16 people were killed by the strikes in Iraq and there was, quote, significant damage to homes and other properties in the area. This is a story that we will continue to follow all throughout the morning right here on Live Now from Fox, so be sure to stick with us.